Hello everyone, this is Dimeji from Zip Automations. In this video, we'll be talking about electronic keying, um, the firmware revisions of um, modules in Allen Bradley PLCs and why it's important for you to know um, that. So here I have just a project with some modules and I'm going to add an analog output module. So analog output module. So I'll just pick this. So here you can see something called the revision and the electronic key. We'll come back to that. So I'll just download to the model. So when I download to the model, you can immediately see that there's an issue. It's complaining that a certain IO is not responding and it's the one that I just added. So here you can see that the module is faulted. So anytime this happens, the first thing that you need to check is whether the module is actually connected online and check whether the revision you have in your project matches the actual revision on the card. So here, if I go to my RS links, I can see the module here. It's an analog output on slot four. And if I click on device properties, I can see that the revision is one and the major revision is one and the minor revision is three the major revision is more important than the minor revision so if i come to my project here and you let me go offline first so just uh, so here if i come to this particular card under the module definition i can see the series, there's just series A, I can see revision. So here, and the electronic key says that I have, I need a compatible module. If you pick compatible module, that means that the major revision you use in your project has to be the same as what is on the card. So here, if I pick compatible module, then this is fine. If I click OK, then I click OK. Then I'll download. And as you can see, the module is OK. There is no error anymore. But if I select exact match, it means that the major and the minor revision would matter. So if I do that and I click OK and apply. Then you can see that the fault has appeared again because the, what I configured here is not an exact match. So to have an exact match, I would need to change this to three and apply to the card. And you can see that the card is okay. So there is a third option which is called disable keying, which means you don't even want to care about it. You just want you don't want the model to the revision to matter. So let's see if we can do that. So I'll come here and I'll change the revision to back to two. Just what was the default in the project. I'll come here and I'll just change it to disable keying. I click OK. Click OK. And here I can still download. And everything is still OK. So you can use this option if you might constantly need to swap out cards and you don't need to worry about the revision that was configured in the project. So this is very important when you are. Um, performing module replacement or you are trying to do some sort of maintenance work you need to understand the major minor revision the electronic key to ensure that um, you have um, smooth configuration if you are adding or configuring a new model um, i hope you enjoyed this thanks for watching